right, good day. Today we are with Marc Laporte of Tiki. Hi, Marc. Hi. And we're with Fred Dixon from Blind Side Networks. Hi, Fred. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'll start with Marc uh, because uh, it's different uh, context today. We have two, um, two, two applications we're talking about, of course, about Tiki and the integration of Big blue button, Mark. What was the interest, or what was the problem that you saw that you wanted to solve in by inviting Big Blue Button to be part of Tiki? So basically, um, back in the project started back in 2002, and we added lots of features. So it's a wiki engine, content management system, groupware. All these things are. Um, you know, what you can do in PHP MySQL, which is basically forms, but it's, it's not like something which is live. It's, you know, you write information, someone may read that discussion form the next day or in an hour. And everything that was needed to be done live, live collaboration like chat, uh, audio, video, was something which was, wasn't uh, either easy or possible to do uh, with our technology. So as we were adding features, there was all, all these features that we could not touch. And it was like, well, at one point, we're going to have to find a solution for this, either branch out and using other technologies, or even better is to uh, identify and partner with another open source project to integrate. And here comes Fred. So uh, we started the Big Blue Button project about th in 2007, and it was directed towards distance education, so it was to enable a remote student to have a high quality learning experience in a virtual classroom and to teachers to connect with remote students and it provided real-time sharing of slides, voice, video, desktop and chat and we built it to enable collaboration and we also created an API for it to allow third-party applications uh, to integrate and hopefully to easily integrate and then Mark and I sort of met and then we held up and said here's what we're trying to do <coughs> and we have an API, and Mark said, okay, we'll give it a shot. How is it so far? So far, it's great. It was actually uh, quite easy, the first integration. So the first part is basically you're in Tiki, and if you're logged in, you have permission, and because the site minister has said it that way. So it's a single uh, sign-on. Right. You just click on a big blue button, mm -hmm. and then it's basically going to open up the window, and then you'll be in there with in the chat room with the other people. And you'll be able to uh, start your voice uh, and start uh, start your webcam, and it'll be basically going through a, in a live collaborator. collaborator. So it's a conference room, sort of speaking, Absolutely. over the web. And how? Um, what kind of applications do you foresee, Fred, for this kind of integration with another open source project such as Tiki? Well, it was actually as Mark described. There is the uh, asynchronous type of collaboration, you're editing a wiki page or you're sending a mail message, and then there's a time where you need to collaborate in real time. And it's that synchronous part, that real time part that we built out. So we didn't, we didn't take away anything that Tiki did. What we did was added another way to collaborate. And as we work with the Tiki group, we look at how can we tightly integrate this real time collaboration with what we'll call like the non real time, so that from the customer's point of view, it's a complete solution. Difficult to install and integrate? So far it's been it's been quite easy. Surprisingly easy. It's good. And we've gotten some good feedback too about how we can make it even easier, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Fred Dixon, Mark Laporte. Thank you very much all.